Let's look at more examples of using these log properties. So we're asked to reduce log base 4 of 1 over 64 without using a calculator, just using the log properties. Well, hmm. This means I'm going to have to write 64, actually 1 over 64, as a power of 4. But let's focus on one thing at a time. Let's see if we can write 64 as just 4 to some number. So let's see. 4 to the 0 is 1. 4 to the 1st is 4. 4 squared is 16. 4 cubed is 16 times 4. Oh, that's nice. 4 cubed is 64. So 64 I can write as 4 cubed. And then if I move the 4 to the numerator, I can do that by making the exponent negative. And then I have log base a of a to the x. I have something that fits this form very nicely. And according to the log properties, this is just x. According to log properties, the log and the exponential cancel each other out, leaving me with the exponent. So the log base 4 and the 4 to whatever are going to cancel and leave me with this whatever. And in this case, that is minus 3. Let's take a look at 32. Log base 27 of 3. Oh, this is not nice. The base is larger than than the exponent is. Than the uh, one I'm taking the log of, rather. Hmm. Well, let's see. 3 to the 0. See if I can write 3 as a power of 27. Hmm. 3 to the first is 3, 3 squared is 9, 3 cubed would be 3 times 9, which is 27. Oh, there's 27. 27 is 3 cubed. So if 27 is 3 cubed, that means 27 to the one-third power is 3. Taking both sides to the one-third power, or taking cube roots, if you will, of both sides, gets me this nice relationship. So, I can write 3 as 27 to the one-third, or the cube root of 27. Then I can use this nice log property to say, that the log base 27 and 27 to whatever cancel and leave me with the exponent, which is in this case simply one third. And if we take a look at one more, something like 34, looking at log base 5 of the square root of 125. Well, I, I know how to convert a square root into an exponent. That's just to the one-half power. But I still need to write 125 as a power of 5. So let's see. 5 to the 0 is 1. 5 to the 1st is 5. 5 squared is 25. What about 5 cubed? 5 cubed, 25 times 5, that's 20 times 5, which is 100. And then 5 times 5 is 25, so this is 125. Nice. So this is equal to log base 5 of 5 cubed to the 1 half. 
And if I use properties of exponents, I can combine these two with multiplication. I can write this as log base 5 of 5 to the 3 halves. And now I've got it in the right form. I've got it in log base a of a to the x, which means the log and the exponential will cancel, leaving me with just the exponent, leaving me with just 3 halves.